All right, now we're going to discuss giving injections. There's two types of injections that we will give. We will give a subcutaneous injection, or called a sub-Q injection, or an intramuscular injection, or an IM injection. Now, the location for an IM, or intramuscular injection, is going to be somewhere usually in the arm. It can also be in the thigh. We're looking for a large muscle group, like this. And the sub-Q, or subcutaneous injection, is going to go into the fatty layer directly under the skin. Usually these are done by pinching the um, skin on the bottom of the arm and injecting right in there. So we have two types of needles for these different injections. The intramuscular injection has a much longer needle and it will come in two parts. You'll have your syringe and your needle. You will attach your needle and remove the cover. Now, your subcutaneous needle is much smaller and will sometimes come assembled. All right, now to draw up our injection, the first thing we're going to do is take our medication and identify it to ensure that we are giving the correct medication to our patient. Then we're going to crack the lid. We're then going to take an alcohol swab and clean the top. Next we're going to take our needle. Now we're going to withdraw our medication. We'll insert our needle, making sure we're in the medication and not air. draw back our syringe, ensuring we're getting medication, not air. Now I want three cc's of medication, so I'm going to pull back. Then, once I withdraw my needle, I don't want to inject any air into my patient, so I'm going to push any extra medication out. You can see my plunger is right on that three cc line. Now once I have my medication, I've ensured that I'm giving the right medication at the right dosage to the right patient at the right time. I will go ahead after triple checking my patient's ID band and inject the medication to my patient. After I've given my patient the injection, I will activate the safety device on the needle to ensure that no one is stuck with the contaminated needle. When administering a subcutaneous injection, I will pop my safety cap, sterilize the top of my medication, ensure I have the correct medication, tilt the medicine upside down, insert my needle, I am going to give my patient, 0.3 cc's. So I'll draw my medication a little further past the 0.3. I will then expel all the air bubbles, sometimes tapping my syringe to get them to come to the top. So I've expelled my air bubbles. Once I've drawn my medication up, I will administer it to my patient after ensuring I have the right medication given to the right patient via the right route at the right time. I will then dispose of my needle properly.